Elizabeth and Malcolm are playing on their front porch. Hello, who's this coming? That's right, here's the man come to read the gas meter. Where does gas come from? Well, gas is brought to your home through pipes from the local gas works. All the capital cities of Australia, as well as many other cities and country towns, have gas works where gas is made from black coal. The best quality gas coal comes from mines in New South Wales. After it has been dug from the mines, it's carried by trains and ships to gas works all over Australia. At this large gas works in the capital city, the wharf where the coal boats, called colliers, unload is just across the road. At this wharf there are two large travelling grabs, each one lifting nearly three tons of coal at a time. The coal is dropped onto a long, endless belt, and at the end, another belt carries the coal over the road and into the gas works, where it is stored in a large yard. Before coal can be used to make gas, it must be crushed into small pieces, each one no longer and larger than a matchbox. There's the matchbox. The lumpy coal, three tons at a time, is lifted by this grab and dropped into a large bin called a hopper. The coal falls down a chute into the crushes, which break the lumps into small pieces. This is a retort house, where the coal is turned into gas. An endless chain of buckets lifts the coal right to the top of the retort house, where it's stored in hoppers ready for use. The coal is fed from the hoppers and falls into the retorts, which are heated from the outside. As the coal is heated, coal gas is given off. This diagram shows how the retort works. The coal enters at the top and gives off the gas when it is heated. Those dots show how the gas escapes from the retort through pipes. What is left of the coal is called coke and is emptied from the bottom of the retort into steel trucks. This is the raw coal gas as it leaves the retort. Notice its dirty colour. Other sections of the gas works clean this gas by removing tar, ammonia and other impurities to make it fit for our use. It is first passed through these tubes called condensers where it is cooled and given its first cleaning. The gas is then bubbled through tanks of water in this washing plant and also this scrubbing plant to remove still more impurities. It then passes through sealed boxes containing iron oxide where the cleaning of the gas is completed. Before the gas can be stored in the gas holders, it must also be dried. This drying plant removes water from the gas.
The coal gas is now ready for use. However, gas is also made in other ways, and these other gases can be added to the coal gas. The coke is heated red hot in a special chamber and then sprayed with water to make what is called water gas. At oil refineries, high quality gas is also produced as a byproduct. This refinery gas is piped to the gas works. In Victoria, as well as using coal gas, water gas and refinery gas, the industry has built a plant for making gas from brown coal near Morwell. At Morwell, 100 miles east of Melbourne, brown coal is scooped out of a big open-cut mine, pressed into briquettes, conveyed to the gas plant and made into gas. It is then piped at high pressure to Melbourne and other points. Men in control rooms at the main gas works mix the coal gas, the water gas, the refinery gas and the brown coal gas to produce a gas of uniform high quality. And these are the instruments they use to control the mixing. The finished gas is piped to these large gas holders which are the feature of all gas works. Although more gas is used during the peak periods of breakfast and tea time than at any other time of the day, gas is made steadily all through the 24 hours. Both the holders at the works and others in the suburbs hold the gas which is not needed during the slack or off-peak periods of the day and night. This extra gas is then used to meet the big demand at the peak periods. That is why sometimes the holders are full and at other times nearly empty. Large gas pipes called gas mains take the gas to the suburban gas holders, whilst pipes under the roads bring the gas from the holders to your home. Each house that uses gas has a meter which tells the gas man how much gas has been used. But do remember, houses aren't the only places where gas is used. Gas is used to bake bread, pies, and biscuits. Infrared gas lamps quickly dry paint on machinery. These are parts for washing machines. Sealing television tubes with a gas flame is only one other of the thousand of uses which gas performs every day. Pupils in high schools and technical schools use gas burners during their science lessons. Doctors and research workers also use gas burners in their laboratories. What do you use gas for in your home? Cooking? Washing? Clothes drying? Refrigeration? Hot water? Heating? Yes, that's right, and there are many other uses also. Next time you turn on your gas tap, remember all the people who helped you to obtain this useful community servant.